Player 17 here on County Lines on the RDL and a multiplayer server and joined on the server at the moment by Double Diesel Pro, Jordan, Farmer John, and Nate. And currently working on a field 20 here. We're cultivating under some oilseed radishes. I'm assuming this field came planted with that. Why the disc is kind of folded up funky here, but let's uh, try to get that straightened out. Doing pretty darn good. Okay, there we go. Looks much better. Oh, uh, this is great. And yes, it is raining on the server here at the moment. All right. I see it starting raining. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Or uh, sleety party hail. Well, well, farmer and I were having a little party up here, uh, stuck in a ditch. <laughs> you I guys, came, no comment. I came to get them unstuck and kind of got stuck. In <laughs> now, now you're both in the ditch? Yeah. <laughs> Nate! Uh, there, Nate, one hit. I should grab that truck. Oh, Jordan, I'm going to leave you there. Here. No! Please don't. Do be nice. Do be my friend. Thank you, Nate. Ten for it. Anyway, again, just a reminder, yeah. if you want to join us okay, on the I'm multiplayer stuck. server, you're more than welcome to do so. Information is in the uh, description below. Uh, there's two download links for each server. First download link will download all the mods needed to join the server. Second download link will take you to the server download page. Also, just remember as well, if you want to join us, we ask that you join us on TeamSpeak as well. Uh, information for the TeamSpeak server is in the description as well. And it is uh, free to join the server. And anyone is welcome to join as long as you uh, play nicely and follow the rules. You know, of course, uh, failure to do so is going to you know, result in a warning kick or a ban, uh, depending on the uh, severity of your breakage of the rules. But And then we currently have server one is Parker's Prairie. That is a large 4X map. Uh, very similar feel to this map. Uh, server 2 here is County Lines. That's the map we're on right now. So if you want to join us on County Lines, make sure you download Server 2 mods. Also, you will need the Big Bud DLC. So make sure you have the Big Bud DLC if you want to join us on Server 2. Uh, if you don't have the Big Bud DLC, don't worry. You can still join us on Server 1. Server 1 does not have the Big Bud DLC. And then also Server 3 is the Smoky Mountains logging map. There's a good reason. Anyway, we're just going around the field. It's funny how the, you know, the game doesn't let us harvest in the rain. Oh. We can still plow the field in the rain. Oh, no. No. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to need another Interesting truck how up it's here making the field actually bigger up. than what it's... Anyway. <laughs> oh, hi, Double. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, where are you at? They're all uh, up here at uh, Cisco, or no, the Burkeville. Burkeville Coop. Yeah, but don't visit Bur Burkeville because you get stuck in the in a crate. Uh, so I noticed. <laughs> you got to visit, you got to go to Crisco and come that way. Yeah, they're all in these. Okay, we, we'll we see what's going on over here. Just get each other unstuck. Wait. Who's that? All of us. I'm on my way with a truck. Oh, oh, I'm free. I'm I suppose you'll watch the channel for a while. You know, yes. we're pretty good at getting stuff stuck at times. Out. I'm trying to get we're also pretty out. good at getting some things hey, unstuck. Hey, farmer, jump in that green truck. Or, or Randy. I'm going to knock the back of it you should be good if not I'll turn around and give uh, you not quite hit. need a little bit more yet okay I'm on my way I should oh, be got it. It. Got, got train got train it. train train never mind uh, I yeah. was gonna say all of a sudden I went flying that's the <laughs> invisible train the train you can see you can drive through it's the invisible one that's the problem 
Uh, yeah, farmer, you're gonna be interesting when I get out. I'm gonna hit his front. No, you're not. No, Nate. No, bro. No, no, no. You're no. gonna yep. get stuck. There's a deep ditch. Yep. He. Yeah. Randy, I'm. I'm actually getting ready to settle ready. So. Uh, not yeah. sure that's the best uh, way, but uh, go for it. Almost got him. Nate, you want to move out of my way, please? Thank you. Alright, one more. Isn't that more like pushing him into the ditch? John, is it okay if I quick take your uh, trailer back to that field? Yeah. Okay. What a wonderful world. Yeah. See, Randy, uh, what you want to do today? Uh, I don't want to take a piece of equipment you want to need. Um, I was plowing field 20. Oh, you're on plow field 20, okay. Yeah, Randy, I think you're going to have to do the rest. I mean, I almost got him. I can get over the uh, train tracks here anyway. Don't know there's much more I can do, too, without uh, getting stuck here. Oh, we can try taking a run at uh, it here, I guess. It doesn't cost anything to reset him, so... Because he's already dropped the trailer. Well, since night, look at I'll just reset it now. Nice! Been out there, Randy. I like yeah, that. Yeah, what was that? My goodness. <laughs> Alright, well then I'll, can you tell you you're just going to reset, I'm just going to head back down to the, back down to my harvester that's sitting on 17. Okay, we'll head back to uh, get the plow here. And, and start feeding. i got to go eat lunch. Anyway, I think I was saying before we were kind of interrupted there, it's interesting well, how the game lets Randy us sped up time, plow so in the rain, but not harvest in the plow. rain. You know, it, it seems a little more likely you'd actually harvest in the rain than you would plow in it. Anyway, it lets Randy, us do, do it. Do you want to speed it up a little more? Uh, I can, sure. Perfect. Making nothing but uh, mud soup here. Anyway, for those of you who wonder what uh, kind of goals we set for this map, we kind of said maybe we'll try to get all the fields. So, I don't think that's going to be our goal here for this map, is try to purchase all the fields of what there is. What, 30? I'm seeing 32. Looks like maybe all the fields there. Whoever nice number is I'm running seeing anyway. Peterbilt on field number 17, if you just, I put it on the headland, but it's full now, so when whoever dumps it, could you just put it back on the headland, please? And before anybody seeds field 10, it needs to be uh, plowed. <clears throat> plowed, yeah. <sighs> and again, we're not uh, using GPS here at the moment, just uh, going around the field manually here, driving. Uh, once we get a headland or two, probably two headlands should be sufficient, I think. We'll uh, switch on GPS here. It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. A lovely day getting stuck in the ditch. <laughs> How did you uh, manage to do that anyway? Probably got hit by the invisible train. That's what usually happens, is you get dragged along and end up in the ditch. Uh, that's that's kind of what I was wondering. And yes, for those of you who've been watching since the uh, Farming Simulator 15 days, you'll know we had the same thing back in Farming Simulator 15 as well. Uh, maps that had trains on them, you'd get the invisible train. Uh, what would happen is you would see the the visual train go past 
Typically, you could drive through that. There was no collision on the, the visuals of the train. I really hate But then uh, later on or before or after it, <laughs> you would have the collision, which is invisible, an invisible, invisible collision. But it's got to be done. And go and down the like tracks. Do you know, of course, you couldn't see it, and it, around the tracks, well, you'd get hit. Okay, I got a straight you know, line now. Push you off or do who knows what. If I can go Anyway, we'll uh, read some comments here in a moment. Uh, Sarah was saying, I love your videos. Just subscribe. Well, thank you very much for that. Thanks for the subscribe. Uh, yeah. Teddy's Little Monster was saying on last episode, there's a hot farm. Who's ready to play Whack a Tractor? That's. I think that's pretty much Whack a Loader, but hey, Whack a, a Loader with a tractor, maybe? Uh, also, was saying you're going to have a lot of money there because I'm watching your money go up. Yes, uh, money is going up quickly there. Uh, unfortunately, we ran into a little problem, and uh, we'll discuss that next episode there on Hobbs Farm. Um, not really a problem so much. I knew it was going to be, but I didn't realize it would be a problem quite this quickly. So, uh, Michael was saying there's a cement ramp on Mod Hub. You can uh, give a try if you want to get stuff up on things. Uh, also, keep doing what you're doing. You're the best. Thank you very much for that. And yes, I thought about uh, trying a ramp. I don't know if it would let you place a ramp that close or not. At least uh, most of the ramps I've seen are usually placeables. So, again, don't know if uh, the map would let you place a placeable that close to the biogas bunker. Or actually, I guess technically that's really not a biogas bunker. It's just a silage bunker out in the middle of nowhere. A very large bunker I might have out in the middle of nowhere. FS17 Master was saying, no, OP means optimistic prime. I think you mean optimum prime, I'm assuming. I don't know about optimistic. I haven't heard that one before. Are you saying uh, just kidding? Okay, How GPS. do you look at the upcoming weather? It should be in the top this. right side of your screen. Yeah, I know that, but like is there a way you can look at, like, the upcoming... No, not really. I haven't seen any unless there's a mod out. The only, the only one that you can see upcoming on is the Stevens mod. Okay. Okay, I think we'll just line up going down the field this way. Probably have a little bit of overlap here again. I think we need to turn that just a little bit more. That looks pretty good. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check my mail real quick. Definitely not that wide. Okay, there we go. Much better. Oh. Bring that back. Zero the offset. And there we go. Uh, Jeffrey was saying, first off, you're lucky. Uh, you got the bunker opened all in one day. I tried to open the cow bunker up on both ends, and that didn't work. Another thing, I'm sure you thought about a uh, high-speed video. Yes, I kind of plan on doing a high-speed video on selling the silage. The only problem with that is we're pretty much going to have to start and stop all the time. Otherwise, our price is just going to, again, I think I mentioned this, is going to plummet. All right, I'll talk badly. to you guys later. I got to go. Okay. Okay, have a good one. Bye. You too. And yes, the uh, trick opening the bunker there. Uh, probably technically to open it right away, and we shouldn't have unloaded it. Randy, maybe if you just quick speed it up to 120, that way it's done. I'll, uh, I'll put it up to 60. All right. User disconnected from your channel. Quite want to go to 120, otherwise things go a little bit quickly usually. Yes, yeah, like I was saying about opening up the bunker there, technically probably the best way to do that would have been to open it up all right away. Just get the front loader in there and work your way from the front to the back there. 
kind of just keeping the the loader the silage forks of the loader kind of level you know you're not really trying to fill the silage forks you're just trying to pick up a little bit so it'll open up the entire bunker there and like I said we've had that issue before on I think it was the multiplayer map. I don't remember which map again. It's actually probably been a couple of maps we've had that issue on that have done that. Austin's asking, do you have a wheel cam? No, I do not. Uh, Golden Fox was saying, Farming Simulator 17 Platinum arrives November 14. Yes, that is the big news for so today. So who's all going to be running Harvester? Jordan and who else? Yes, for those of you who have not seen it, Farm and Simon announced that the uh, Platinum version of Farm and Simon 17 will be released November 14. Uh, it will include a new map. I believe it was South American region based. So we'll have to see what that all includes. Uh, sounds like one new crop type, Sugarcane. Now I don't know if that means it'll work across all the maps or just that map, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to be leaving here shortly. I just found out i got to go somewhere. Okay. I'll probably be back on later sometime tonight. And of course, with the uh, new crop type there, the sure cane, right, yeah, all go. the equipment that will be needed Bye. to go with it. Those sounds not quite promising. Later. Of course, we got to wait until November 14 for it, though. That's quite a ways yet. User disconnected from your channel. Uh, Nathaniel was saying, great video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Joseph was saying, love the idea and the video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Raised to Win was saying, if you hold down R, it will open the whole bunker. Yeah, really would be uh, nice that was not working on that TV bunker. Fields. Me and Cody spent all night feeding 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. It would be nice if somebody helped out once in a while. But I'm just grumpy because I've been up all night. Don't pay attention to me. Oh, okay. If you say so. I really should be asleep. Ah, it's finally stopped snowing, raining, sleeting, hailing, whatever it was. Probably slowed the time back down. Uh, you, oh, there we go. Yeah, you should wait until the sun icon appears there, then you can actually start harvesting. Ah. All right, okay. I am back. Oh, yay. Looks like you're going to be harvesting alone. Why did he leave? I don't know who's still here. I'm going to be eating. User joined your channel. Hey, Joker. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. How's it going there, Joker? Uh, it's going pretty good. Okay, so Diesel. He left. Okay, that's who was in the front harvester. You saw the Platinum Edition, haven't you? Yes, I did. Sounds kind That's of interesting. Awesome, huh? Yeah, new crop type by Sugarcane. Yeah, new um, area too. We got South, uh, South America, Australia, and a couple other. Australia sounds like it'd be interesting. That's where Sugarcane will be. All right, I'm back. And Welcome South back. America. Hey, Farmer John. And there are a ton more equipment. Yes, I've seen that. Looks like a lot of case equipment and some other stuff. Yep, still got to wait five months, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. i seen that. It's like, wow, five months for that. Better than two years. Finished doing this headland. That's supposed to be a reference to cattle and crops. Uh, well, they add a new area of the Calga, the Calga cattle and crops. Oh, you think so? That could be. Well, cattle and crops got it. Well, Italy and 
uh, Germany and a few other ones. Yeah, Kalinkoff got Italy for the grapevines and stuff. Oh, okay. That's whenever that comes out. Uh, exactly. Uh, Blake was asking for last episode on Hobbs Farm there. What John Deere tractor was that? Uh, I believe we were using the 8530. That's the silage edition. And we were using the 8R, the 8370, which is actually the tractor we're using right now at the moment as well, the 8R. This is just an 8400R from the 8R USA pack here. Oscar was saying it's because the 8530 has a high hitch. That's why the conveyors don't pivot. Yes, but they won't uh, pivot on any of the tractors I've uh, connected them to so far. So yeah, I guess it's possible the tractors I've used have had high hitches. Uh, Zach was saying if Oklahoma comes out, will you use it? Yes, I plan on doing Oklahoma again if it's <laughs> released. And hopefully we'll do it on... I don't know if we'll do a single player or not. We'll see once, but definitely plan on doing at least multiplayer for it. Uh, Diesel Pro is saying great videos. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Michigan Farm Power is saying, why don't you use something uh, realistic for hauling that silage? A hopper bottom is only for grains. Use a dump trailer or something similar. Uh, that is true. I probably should switch to different trailers. I don't know if I have any other really grain, well, not really grain trails, but uh, tippers. At least uh, tippers that'll go on the back of the truck, anyway. We do have the uh, R.D. Allen trailer, I suppose. We can uh, definitely use that. Always buy another one of those or something. Or maybe an in-game uh, tipper would work as well. User joined your channel. Kimberly was asking, can you please buy more trucks? Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up? Double Hello. Okay. Are you recording, Alan? Oh, I'm getting hit by the invisible chain. Yes, I am recording. Oh, I thought so. I wasn't sure. Uh, Donald was saying great video. Thank you very much for that. Justin was also saying great video. Thank you for that as well. So how's all you wonderful people doing today? Oh, I'm all doing right. pretty good, I guess. All right. Oh, I just don't have this field done here. Uh, Casey was saying, I love your videos. Thank you very much for that. Emerald was also saying, nice video. Keep it up. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Dakota was saying, the horsepower on the uh, John Deere 7800 is extremely low. Uh, it says it should be more like 160 to 170 horsepower. Again, I would have to uh, look that up to uh, confirm those numbers. I think it's currently, what, 145 horsepower, which, yeah, again, like I said, 145 horsepower tractor. Pretty small for in the game here. That would definitely make it a starter tractor, and it definitely doesn't have the feel of a starter tractor. Maxwell is saying hi. Edward was saying for my uh, LED light bar review there, that would look good on your Ranger. 
and hang over a couple feet on either side, but that would look good right on the edge of the cab. Yes, it probably would. That is not what I intend on doing with it, by the way, though. So, yes, again, for those of you who watch the LED light bar review there, I don't plan on mounting on my vehicle. Again, it's probably, I didn't actually measure it, but it's probably actually the same width as my truck, which to me probably might look a little odd, although it might look really good above the cab. I did think about that. Probably not in the color white, though. I would probably have to get a black one. Okay, there we go. That does it for this field here. And I'm pretty sure Double said there's another field that needs to be plowed here. User joined we'll your bring channel. the plow over there. What's up, please? Hey. Hello. Please. Uh, which other field you said need to be plowed? In. Okay, we'll head over to field 10 here then. And I suppose we might as well fold it up here if we're going to be going down the road. That eh, might be a good idea. Alright, now that the headline's done, I'm going to start harvesting now. Alright, coming in. Uh, okay. I need any crew you put me up? Not that I know of. And again, for those of you who have not seen this map before, definitely, definitely worth checking this map out here. Again, it's county lines. Very nicely done on the amount of detail, you know, fields. Again, the buildings, the farmyards, uh, the roads, everything nicely done. I uh, really like the uh, job the mod author did on that here. Anyway, folks, I think with this uh, synchronization here, it seems like a good point to wrap it up. We're almost done anyway, so... Uh, with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Also, a reminder again, if you want to join us on the multiplayer server, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, just make sure you play nicely and follow the rules. And uh, please join us on TeamSpeak as well. Uh, TeamSpeak is where you can find the password for the multiplayer server. So as always, folks, thanks for watching, and until next time.